Folks, come on, bud. I'm walking the dog. It is a windy, cold ass day. Anyway, I'm making this vlog because we are going to be running the Dillon Press tonight. Reloading some Remington UMC bulk packs. <coughs> There's somebody's pants right there. Nuts. Anyway, going to be reloading some Remington UMC bulk packs that, that I've shot up. I've got a hundred rounds of brass. Going to load them all up and uh, I'm going to try and show you the process. So I'm making this vlog beforehand. It's really cool. You guys, I think you guys will all enjoy it. So, let's begin. All right. Well, they've lost their common sense too. Yeah. And that's what makes them senseless. Permission to make an analogy? I would love one. Okay. The media is the dog. It's fake, and they're chasing their tails around, and we're all just laughing at them. Okay. Juan, oh. I've gotten in trouble for saying this before. But I don't the XL75 750 is in operation here. <laughs> this was a joke, and it went yeah. over everyone's head. Basic photoshopping. Let's see, let's run another one here on the loop pad, another brass. See, I feed them in. Let me take it. Right. Down the teeth. There we go. And he interpreted that the president was recognizing the heroism of the dog and that the dog is part of the team. Yeah. And I felt like that was a greater metaphor for the mainstream media. They are supposed to be paying for one team. They're supposed to be representing one team. And that's us. That's an American that doesn't have And that was that. Got 50 rounds assembled and ready to shoot. Oh, with that plinking load that we came up with, the 24.9 grains of benchmark with the spear hollow point flat base bullets, 52 grain. Yep. Got the old uh, XL750 figured out. I got let you all see it here. It runs fine. You got all the components and stuff up here. Still got powder in it. You're gonna be loading some more with it here. I got a whole another box of 50 223s. They're all right here. We're prepping them up, uh, knocking the primers out, and we're gonna run them through. And I'll have a hundred rounds back with uh, the XL 750, and that really knocks out a lot of the work because when we have to do it individually with these presses have to load them individually with these presses and then and then use the powder scale over here and the measuring scale that take a whole evening just to do 50 so we cut that out in about 20 minutes with the OXL 750 here by Dillon Precision very nice machine it's, it works like a charm and uh, it wasn't fairly too hard to set up. Uh, learning how to use it's a bit of a learning curve. We had to wait a little bit and, you know, get down pat with it and figure out how it all works and stuff before we did a video of it. But it turned out pretty good. We've got it set up and it works just fine. I'll have to go over how it all works another day. Well, anyway, this has been Pliskin by 51 millimeter. Deer season is getting close. I need to uh, start working on my 308 brass. See, I got a whole bunch of 308 brass here. I got these ready to load. And uh, I'm going to be using my 150 grain uh, Sierra Spitzer boat tail load for this year. Going to load up 50 rounds. I got a whole nother box of brass here to uh, work on and load up. And this box is full as well. So that's all going to be in the works. Anyway, this has been Pliskin by 51mm. I'll see you all in the next video.